Unfortunately, the research that often takes place is in animals and is extraordinarily unlikely to help people like me or the parents of kids and kids with muscular dystrophy. I had to retire because of medical problems related to multiple system atrophy. There's been a great deal of publicity recently on Texas A&M University, which maintains a colony of golden retrievers who have a disease process similar to, but not exactly identical to muscular dystrophy in humans. They have what may fairly be called a support group or fan club of parents who feel strongly that any animal research is justified if there's any chance that it may help their child. Ethically and morally, I happen to disagree with that, partly pragmatically because so little animal research results in anything beneficial to humans, but also because in some situations, such as that Texas A&M colony, those animals are rendered extremely weak. They can't walk normally, they can't move, they ultimately die aspirating their own secretions. And the track record of animal research that we all know is such that the chances of any breakthrough coming as a result of those types of grants are very, very, very low indeed. So I think it's appropriate that we should funnel research dollars as a culture and as a society to those lines of research that stand the most likelihood of actually helping human patients.